All right, here we are on a level 14 type question. We have negative 3y plus 11 is less than 38 and negative 3y plus 11 is greater than or equal to negative 25. I'm gonna solve these as inequalities. Isolate the negative 3y by subtracting 11. Negative 3y is less than 27. I'm gonna divide both sides by negative three. When we do that, it's gonna flip the direction of the relationship. Y is greater than negative nine. Over here, here, I'm going to subtract 11, just like I did over there from both sides. We get negative 3y is greater than or equal to negative 36. Then I'm going to divide both sides by negative 3. That's going to flip the direction of the relationship. That's going to give us y is less than 12. y is greater than negative 9. y is less than or equal to 12. And I'm going to make two number lines. Put my negative 9 here and my 12 here y is greater than negative nine. I need a hollow dot there, and then I'm shading this way. Then for my other number line, y is less than or equal to 12. Here we have a solid dot and everything less than or equal to 12. So we're gonna go this way. What is common between those two? Because we're doing and, which is intersection. What is common? Well, the negative nine isn't common to both of them. I'm gonna put a hollow dot on the negative nine. I'm gonna put a solid dot on the 12. 12 is common to both of them. Greater than 12 is not here, so it's not common. Between those two dots is common. The negative nine is not common, but everything up until the negative nine is. That's why we have the hollow dot on the negative nine. I'll write that as an interval, x, y, y is a member of space from negative nine, rejecto bracket on the negative nine, comma, up to 12, and the 12 is included, gets the accepto bracket. There's your answer, and you press enter to see if you're right. That's it for level 14. Have a good day.